What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. In today's gaming news, make room for Star Citizen. BlizzCon 2015 gets a date and sign up now for the Rainbow Six Siege Alpha. So Star Citizen is supposed to be a massive game, taking over an entire universe, being able to fly from planet to planet, docking on planets, an FPS module, a dogfighting module, there's a lot that this thing is supposed to encompass. So yeah, it's not surprising that it's large, but how large it is might come as a bit of a shock. In an open thread on the Star Citizen forums, developer Jeremy Masker responded to claims that the game may only be between 30 and 40 gigs. What he said was, I would not count on this. The game compression and asset removal is unlikely to yield such high gains that we will be able to reduce our client size to 30 to 40 gigs. The size and number of assets that are left to deliver means that our client size is much more likely to be around 100 gigs. 100 gigs for a single game. Now again, this is supposed to be a massive game, and when you take into consideration the size of textures, adding voiceovers, and the game code itself, just to name a few, I, I guess we shouldn't be shocked that it's a large file, but 100 gigs? And the file size isn't even that much of an issue. It's not that expensive to buy large hard drives anymore. The big problem for a lot of people is going to be their internet and having monthly data caps. If you have a monthly data cap of 250 gigs, having a single file that's 100 gigs is taking over more than a third of your monthly allotted available amount. That's a problem. That, that's not a problem that the game developers can fix, unfortunately, and that's a problem that we have to speak with internet service providers about and trying to lift those monthly data caps or at least raise them to reasonable levels because the truth is, as time goes on, file sizes are are just going to get larger and larger. Games are looking better, and then not even just games, but movies and our digital lives nowadays require so much bandwidth that data caps that are at 250 gigs, for example, are just a bit too low. So this is a problem that hopefully gets resolved in the future. Fight the good fight and try to get those data caps raised, I guess, because game file sizes are getting huge. I don't think it comes as much of a surprise that I am a Blizzard fanboy, so I'm excited to let you guys know that BlizzCon 2015 has been announced. In a post this morning, Blizzard revealed that BlizzCon 2015 will be taking place on November 6th and 7th. It is being held once again at the Anaheim Convention Center, and tickets will be going on sale on Wednesday, April the 15th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time for a whopping $200. Now once more, I'm a Blizzard fanboy. I play a lot of Blizzard games, I always have, and I enjoy their games, but boy oh boy, 200 bucks, holy crap, this takes me back to economics class and the reminder of supply and demand. BlizzCon tickets tend to sell out within a few minutes, so they can afford to charge this extraordinary amount. But 200 bucks, that's like four games. That's like half the price of a console. That's kind of crazy, and it's something that lots of people are still going to pay. Myself probably included. And last up today, if you're looking forward to breaking down walls and Rainbow Six Siege, you can sign up to do so in the alpha right now. Registration is open for the Rainbow Six Siege Closed Alpha. You can sign up on their official website. Now this is a PC only alpha, although the game will be coming to consoles. It looks like they are just testing it on the PC as of now. I've really, really been anticipating this game. I like what they're showing here for the sieging of residential houses and literally the destruction of any walls and floors and ceilings and whatever. You can scale up the side, climb through a window, uh, put some charges on a wall, wall busted open walk like it looks really really cool and if it's as nearly as destructible as they've shown so far in footage it's going to be a good fun destructive time so make sure to sign up to the alpha for the alpha if you are interested all right guys that is going to do it for today's episode of the feed as always thank you so much for watching and please be sure to comment in the comment section below about any of the topics discussed here today once again this has been force and you have just been force fed you know what I take it back. I probably wouldn't pay $200 for a ticket. Now, if Blizzard invites me and pays for the trip, then I'll probably go. But otherwise, I think I'm just going to sit on the couch and enjoy the virtual ticket like lots of other people. $200 is a lot of money. I, I love Blizzard, but boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy.